Okay, so uh, this is what I did for this test. I went to levels and uh, let me show you the comment here. This is the comment that shown us to the light. You know, two and a half years I've messed with this game. I only thought the depth map was used when you create a terrain block. And I didn't think it was used for anything after that. But if we go to where the game is installed and uh, I'll show you what I did. Content, levels, Johnson Valley. Alright, if we open this up, I copied that to the clipboard and I pasted it in the user folder. That's the user folder. See, I pasted it there. But what I did is I loaded this step map here, which you can see some areas are darker. I loaded this into my photo editor. And I said, you know what? Let's test it. Let's make everything black. So I made a new layer. And I just painted it black, like with the flood tool thing thing. And then flattened the image. Now this is the one that I overwrote the Uh, one in the user level with solid black one so this is what happens when it's solid black it doesn't matter if you paint asphalt um, it's gonna sink really deep now using that color instead I'll just pick this here or you know what let's just make it solid white solid white I'll flatten the image now I'll override it again with the other one now rebuild collisions now it behaves like proper asphalt but also probably no it sunk in the sand it did sink in there so you know what I don't know what I mean, I don't know why the depth map, if if the ground models also sink, then I don't know why it, I don't know why it would make a difference. But yeah, you can see it makes a difference now. So if you were to paint dirt, it'd behave like dirt or mud or sand, depending on what you paint. Uh, let's see grass too. Let's just uh, make that mud real quick. Save changes. There we go. Rebuild. Takes a while to rebuild them. Right, yep, yeah, it's mud and asphalt. So yep, I very much appreciate the comment because that seems to be the way to fix it. 